on Take Your Pick tonight, a chance to win the perfect model railway for little boys from 9 to 90. A fairy tale holiday for all the family at Euro Disney. A well-stocked corner bar where the drinks are on the house. A top-of-the-range feature-packed video camera of your dreams. Your very own jukebox stocked with all your favourite tracks. And the Take Your Pick treasure chest containing £1,000. You can also win one of Boris Becker's old balls. A cracked conker. And a brown banana. And tonight's star prize is a virgin holiday on the star's favourite island of Barbados. A sun-kissed West Indian paradise of glorious beaches, warm tropical seas and pampered luxury. And now, meet the man with the cash and the keys, Des O'Connor. Welcome to Take Your Pick. Now, all our contestants for tonight's show were chosen from the studio audience that we have here just before we came on the air, right? Yes! yes. And later on, they're going to be playing for some of these fantastic prizes. First, they've got to get through the yes-no game with me, right? Yes. yes. You're allowed to say yes, they're not. If they get it wrong, they're going to get a gong. And here's the girl with the golden gong. Will you please welcome lovely Jody Wilson? Yes. <laughs> it's a good gang here tonight. Now you, you've got a definite twinkle in your eye. I do? Yeah. Really? Well, yeah. I went to see a show last night with my friend. What did you go and see? The Chippendales. <laughs> I'm disappointed, Jodie. I wouldn't have thought you were into all that. Well, I'm not really. I'm not really into macho men with hunky bodies and magnificent physiques. <laughs> I prefer a man who looks a bit more like, well, you. I'm not too sure how I should take that, really. Oh, don't get me wrong, dears. I mean, I know a lot of women out there who think that the Chippendales are just fantastic. Why don't we do a little test? All right. right. If you ladies had a chance to have a night out with the Chippendales or a night in with Des, what would you prefer it to be? Chippendales! <laughs> that was close. That's oh, about 50 50. 50 50? Yeah, 50% 50 would like a night out with a Chippendales, and 50% would like a night in with a Chippendales. <laughs> Go and get the first contestant to play, play the yes no game. Oh, there she is. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Found you are rubbing. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> that wasn't long, was it, Muffin? A pretty one second wonder there. <laughs> Peter, where are you from, Peter? Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Nod your head and you go next time, so no yeses. You won't say yes, will you? I won't. You won't say no. I what won't. do you do for a living? I'm a bricklayer. A bricklayer? Yeah. <laughs> and you laid a brick there. <laughs> oh, that's nice, Nessa. That's lovely to get a kiss from a girl. It's really nice. I mean, did, was that spontaneous, was it? It was. Oh, you're not going to say yes, are you? I'm trying not to. You're trying not to say. You won't say yes, you won't say no. What do you do for a living? I'm a credit controller. Contro and I believe some of these friends are here. I can tell that this... You with a gang? Yay. I definitely Yay. am. You are. I definitely am. You definitely am. You definitely are. You didn't say yes, did you? You didn't I say did no. I did not. Do you, do you go to the movies a lot? Uh, not really, no. What? No. <laughs> and the next contestant right here. How are you doing, Kevin? I'm all right, You've got a lovely head of hair, though, Kevin. Do you cut your own hair? No. No! <laughs> <laughs> and the next contestant. <laughs> are you popular? You... Oh, lovely. I'm getting kissed tonight. This is Kathy and the old gang are out there, obviously. They are indeed. Where are they all from? Mercury Communications. Mercury Communications. What do they do? Work hard. They work hard, of course they do. Very hard. Yeah, what do you do for a living in Mercury? What do you do? What I'm do you... a secretary. Secretary. You're not going to say yes. I can I'm tell, trying really hard. I can tell you're going to be difficult. Is that an Australian accent? It is indeed. It is indeed. So I thought it might have been New Zealand. Let me ask you, have you been to see the new Batman movie? Now, who plays the leading Batman? Do you know? It doesn't really matter. Do you I'm like not Kim, sure. Do you like Kim Bassinger? Do you Kim go who? swimming? Kim Bassinger. She's a film star. 
Is she? Yes. Oh. You don't care, do you? You nearly said no Sometimes. then. You're not going to say yes? Maybe. Maybe, but you're not going to say no. I'm trying not to. Did you to. make this out for yourself? I wish I could. I how wish about, I did. How about me? Do you like my songs? I love you. Do you really? Sometimes. Sometimes. But not much. Not all the time. Who's your favourite singer? Do you I like Bing Crosby? Do you remember Bing Crosby? Jason Donovan. Jason Donovan. I have to support my... You're Australian. <laughs> <laughs> You're Martina. Oh, yeah. Do you play tennis? I do not. There is a Martina who plays tennis, you know that? There is. Yeah. Do you, are I'm you nothing interested? like her. You're nothing like her. I'm How's, not. You don't play tennis at all? I don't. What sports do you do? Um, I'm thinking of starting to um, badminton. Badminton? I'd like to yeah. What about that. children? Do you have children? Not at the moment. No, don't have children. Pets? I'd do you have like pets? To. I've got a dog. Dog? What's his name? Cassie. Cassie. And it's a she. It's a she. <laughs> It is. You're sure? <laughs> I am. You're absolutely positive. If you could absolutely. go... Absolutely. <laughs> or nearly, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you like to go? I wouldn't mind trying Australia. Australia? Mm. We've just got that lady from Australia. Do you know her? You've never met her before? I have not. If you had a chance to sing with me, would you say yes or no? I would say I might. You might. <laughs> One day. <laughs> very, very difficult. You've got lovely eyes. Do you know what colour my eyes are? I don't know. What they're probably eyes? brown. They're probably brown. Are they brown? They're hazel. They're you little hazel. Nut. You're doing really well. Do you make your own clothes? I do not. You don't? Do I you do, do it yourself? Do you like hot, spicy food? No. No! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure whether Martina did that or not, but very, very close. OK, Joan and I are going to check up those scores, and those that last the longest are going to go on to play for the big prize in the second half of Take Your Pick. See you after the break. Bye-bye. Welcome back. Who's going to win these prizes tonight? Would Martina win one of Boris Becker's old balls? Will, will Peter win the holiday to Barbados? Yeah. We shall find out as we ask Jodie to bring on the first contestant to play Take Your Pick. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Kathy, our Yes No champion, with 60 seconds. She's on your side because she's an Aussie, I reckon. And so she should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Kathy, now you can say yes, you can say no. From Australia? I am indeed. And how long have you been here? Um, just over two years. You like it? Love it. Yeah. What do you miss about Australia? <clears throat> have to be the outdoor life, the yeah. sunshine, the beaches. Oh, well, we have sunshine. And... When? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's on a Wednesday, wasn't it, Lars? <laughs> oh. Um, don't you love that voice? <laughs> You just sounds like you should be a neighbours. I love it. I love the way it goes up at the end. <laughs> I went shopping today. I was in the supermarket. Who was that behind me doing that? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> right, now then. Cathy, we want to get you through to the keys here. You've got to answer three out of four questions. Get three out of four right, you can choose a key. That opens a box. Boxes one to ten. I do not know what's in boxes one to ten. However, there is another box, box thirteen. And I do know what's in box 13. That could be something fantastic, could be something drastic. Mm. So if you get there, well, you have to think about it. Just for the benefit of the viewers at home, and only the viewers at home, not the stereo audience, this is the key that will also open box 13 tonight. <laughs> First question, who said, and there are three answers, so we'll hear them all, kiss me hardy. Was it Larry Grayson? <laughs> Neil Kinnock? Or Adam Nelson. Who are they all? <laughs> well, Larry well, I have to say number three. Three? It was Adam Nelson. Yes, yes it was. <laughs> you guessed it with numbers. <laughs> General knowledge. Norma Jean Baker was the real name of which blonde bombshell star of the movies like Some Like It Hot? Marilyn? Yeah, Monroe. Marilyn Monroe, of course. You want to go get this question right? <laughs> rooting for you, yeah. I tell her. This, I think this you're going to get. Well, maybe. Which material girl was married to actor Sean Penn? No, Ma Shad? Madonna? Madonna, yeah! <laughs> okay, pick a key. 
I think it'll have to be number nine. Number nine for you, Kathy, right? Nine pounds. No. Nineteen pounds. No. Ninety-nine pounds. A no. hundred pounds. A no. hundred and ninety-nine pounds. No. Two hundred pounds. No. Two hundred and fifty pounds. No. Three hundred pounds, Kathy. Three hundred. What did she do? Three hundred pounds? Three hundred and fifty pounds, Kathy. Three hundred and fifty pounds. No, sorry. We're gonna turn down. She's turned down three hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> If you can open box number nine, it's not six, it's nine. You take it to there. How are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, she's a little key shaking like a leaf. <laughs> Steady, Kath, it'll be all. Just hand me that. No peeking. No peeking. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see. You turned down one, 350 pounds. I did. And you've won. Well, you can celebrate and starve. You've won a fantastic home bar with everything you could ever want to drink. <laughs> Bye-bye. Let's get Jessica in here, please. <laughs> Here's Martina, and Martina was second by a second. Yeah, yeah. what's your score then? 59. 59? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we can do with you now. Martina Den, 25 from Crawley, married nine, married nine and a half months. Yeah. The ambition is to start a family, is what it says. Yes, but my husband won't let me yet. <laughs> we've, just bought, we've just bought a house and it needs a lot of work doing to it, so... Wait a minute. <laughs> Your husband won't let you start a family yet because you need some work on the house? Yeah, we've got to get the work finished. Oh. If you win tonight, would he change his mind? He might. It depends what I win. <laughs> well, now that we've got a cot or anything up here, have <laughs> What would you like to win if you if you got through? What, I mean, it's a fa you, there's a holiday in Barbados. That's still there, isn't it? That hasn't been one year. It'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? A romantic holiday in Barbados. <laughs> oh, that could do it, Martin. <laughs> it could, yeah. <laughs> I think he'd prefer the money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get you through. If Arnold Schwarzenegger showed you his pectorals, <laughs> would you run for cover? There's a lady going, memory. <laughs> Could you run for cover, wear a crash helmet, or be admiring his chest? His chest. His chest. Yeah. There you are. That wasn't as difficult as it seemed. <laughs> <laughs> General knowledge. Name the French emperor defeated by Wellington at the Battle of Waterloo. Look at me. What is it then? What do you mean, what is it? <laughs> to tell you what it is. Look, he's... Oh, Napoleon. Napoleon! There you are! <laughs> Burnside and Carver are no-nonsense policemen in which hit TV show? The Bill. The Bill! You got it! Yeah. <laughs> Where are the keys, Martina? Take your pick. I'll go for number... Eight. Eight! Please. Number eight. There, a little eight. Eight pounds. No. You're not going to take that. Eighty-eight no. pounds. No. You're not going to take that. One hundred and eighty-eight pounds. No. You're going to take that. No. Two hundred and eighty-eight pounds. No. Two hundred and eighty-eight pounds. No. Three hundred. No. I'll open the box. Three hundred fifty pounds. I'll open the box. Martina, we can't. You can't rush in. Put your hand up. Fifty. One hundred. One hundred fifty. Two hundred. Two hundred fifty. Three hundred. Three hundred fifty. Four hundred pounds, Martina. Look, he's there, Martina. So, he didn't buy a lot. Hang on, it'll buy a little, a lot of little white booties <laughs> and a cute little pink hat. Five hundred and fifty pounds. Fantastic, oh, Martin. What do you think? I'll take money. You're gonna take the money. Yeah, She's taking the, the money. money. <laughs> okay. Now then, you have turned down the box yeah, and you couldn't make up your mind. Oh, this was a very iffy, iffy oh, decision, wasn't it? Yes. Well, maybe it's worked out good. I don't know. I'm hoping for you, and I'm sure your gang are. But you've got that in your hand. How much have you got in the hand? 550 pounds, I think. You want to pick yeah. that out? Pick the card out. You hand it to me. Martina. <laughs> Look, you can't have done that wrong. You've got 550. Yeah. You turned down the treasure chest worth a oh. thousand pounds. Oh, oh, never nice. mind. You've got 550. Martina did Thanks, really sir. good. Thank you. <laughs> and the next contestant, please. better but she's still happy enough with 27 seconds netta 25 from croydon netta short how tall are you 
about five ten. So you're not that short, are you? No. Five <laughs> ten. You work for never heard of these people. Who are these? Freeman. Oh, hey, Freeman. Oh! <laughs> Your hobbies, it says, are drinking and having fun. Yeah, boozing, main thing. Yeah, I mean, what do you drink? What is your tipple? What's your favourite tipple? Whiskey. You drink whiskey? Yep. Drink it neat? Uh, neat or with Coke, Diet Coke. I see. I, I need a diet. Yeah, I hope you don't get on a motorway after that, because you don't, you don't drive, do you? Uh, no, my boyfriend drives a motorbike. I go motorbike? behind him. <laughs> I hold on to him, so if he falls off, I'm on top of him. That's the way to be, my dear. <laughs> Sounds fun on your bike. <laughs> <laughs> Ambition to go out with Grant Mitchell. Oh, he's lovely. Is he? he is absolutely gorgeous. What's he, tonight, oh. what's he got for you? What's he got for you? He's Netta. lovely. He is. He's beautiful. All right, Netta, we're going to ask you the questions to see if we can get you a nice prize. What would you like to win if you got a chance? I night mean, out I... with Grant Mitchell. A night out. It's not a prize. I'll give him a ring if you win. <laughs> see if we can fix it. Right. If you found that you'd been ostracised. This is our silly question, so don't rush it. not silly. If you found that you'd been ostracised, would it mean you'd been sent to Coventry, you'd been made bankrupt, or you'd gone into hospital to have your tonsils removed and someone had turned the trolley round? <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Number one. It was indeed... <laughs> In what TV puppet show... TV puppets, think carefully, do Scott, Virgil... And brains fly to the rescue. Something are go, it says. Thunderbirds are go. Yes, but no, no. You're getting a lot of help out here. <laughs> According to superstition, how many lives does a cat have? Six. No, wait there, nine. Nine, nine, nine all right. Nine. All right, you've got it right. <laughs> oh, I love you. A quick turnaround there. <laughs> No, you always right. get the six and nines muddled up. You get your six and nines muddled up. Yeah, because they're back to front, you know. I see. All right. Yeah, I got you, yes. <laughs> All right, Netta, there are the keys. Take your pick. What numbers are being picked? Go on, tell me. Whisper you it. You can have no, seven, on. four, two, one, three, six, ten, five, seven. I'm going for number <laughs> seven. Seven. Okie okay, doke. No. Number seven. Twenty right. pounds. No. Forty pounds. No. Sixty pounds. No. Hundred pounds. No. Hundred and twenty pounds. No. Two hundred. No. Two fifty. No. <laughs> Three hundred. Yeah, I, you got this. And I got a free no matter what I offer. You can open this box, don't you? <laughs> three hundred. What's Three hundred pounds. No, I'm going to open the box. Three hundred and fifty pounds. No, open the box. Four hundred pounds. No. All right, you've turned down four hundred pounds, and you've opened what is it? Box number seven. Four hundred pounds. Please God. Let's hope you've done the right thing. Hey, go steady. Wait for me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Turn, turn that round. Hand it to me. Okie dokie, would take a little slow. What is it, 400 pounds? No, no, no. And, and you, you, you know, you, you don't worry if it's a, what is the stockings? It's. Oh dear. Oh, oh, no. Where have you done this? You've to... only won tonight's star prize, a holiday in Barbados! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tonight's Star Prize winner has won a virgin holiday on the star's favourite island of Barbados. A sun-kissed West Indian paradise of glorious beaches, warm tropical seas and pampered luxury. And a lovely time. Catch your sixes and nine sort of out of the future. Now the next contestant in here, please. Peter's flying the flag for the boys. Yeah, you're the only chap. He's the only one here. He is, the only chap, yeah. yeah. And he got 12 seconds. 12 seconds. Yeah. Well, you're here, Peter. Thank Just you, Jerry. You. Now, you're Peter Linden. You're 27 from Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. I love that sound. You're an <laughs> unemployed bricklayer. Mm. Mm, well, we hope you win something tonight. We'd really like to see you. Now, it says here, when you're not looking for work, your hobby or what you like to do most is... Sleep. Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I love the bed, Nick. Like. You love the bed? Mm. A good-looking young girl, you're just sleeping all day? Peter, you're a nice guy, really nice guy. Now, you drink Guinness, it says, you play golf, and your ambition is to own that? A Porsche? That would do nicely. Well, I can't guarantee a Porsche, but we might get you something good right. if you can get these questions right. Three out of four. What is the maximum... What is the maximum legal speed on the M25? Hang on, is it four miles an hour? <laughs> 50 miles an hour? Or 70 miles an hour? 70. 70, yes. Yes, it is. 
The average speed is four miles, <laughs> I would say. General knowledge, in American history, what famous general died at the Battle of the Little Bighorn? Custard. Custer, it was indeed. <laughs> you know your history there. Oh, don't you? Oh, yeah, you've got a good year, yeah. I'm watching the westerns. I said, you know your history. He said, no, I watched the cowboy movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What would you normally put on show if you were appearing at Crufts? Dogs. Dogs, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> right, Peter. Throw the keys, you take your pick. Number five. Number five. There you are. Oh. Top 30. Mm -hmm. Now, number five is also the key that will open box 13 tonight, so I'll put box 13 there. Now, I have to warn you, before you make any choices, when I ask you, that I do know what's in 13. Could be good, could be not so good. That's up to you. Now, I don't know what's in the other boxes. For the benefit of the viewers at home, this is what is contained in box 13 tonight. Right, OK, Peter. Now, I'm going to offer quite a bit of money, because there's a prize gone. I'm going to offer you 50 pounds, 100 pounds, 150. I know you're not going to say yes to that. No. 200. No. 300. No. 400, Peter. No. Hang on, Peter. We've got to think about this. We'll offer you 450 pounds, Peter. No. Oh, Peter, 450 pounds. Put your hand up, Peter. Put your hand up, Peter. 50, 100, 150, 200. What do you think? 250, 300. 350, Peter. 400 pounds, Peter. No. 450, Peter. Five hundred pounds. I take the money. He's going to take the money. Yeah. Five hundred pounds. Five hundred pounds in the hand is better than two keys in whatever bush. Okay, you've turned the boat down. Nevertheless, we're going to find out what you would have won in either box. Okay, you open box number five. I always open box thirteen. Yep. You've turned down two of these. You understand? You don't get these. Well, with five hundred pounds, you're happy, aren't you? Let's see what you've turned down in box number five. Okay. You have turned on a family trip to Euro Disneyland. Oh. oh, well, let's see what you would have won in box 13. You never know about this game. <laughs> right. Box 13. So you looking? Well, hang on. It's a rubber duck, but it's a rubber duck that would have fitted in a wonderful designer bathroom, Peter. Mm -hmm. Never mind, you've got 500 pounds. And thank you for playing, thank take you. it away. You want the duck, you can keep that for good luck. OK. <laughs> so, one of the night. Peter took 500 pounds. Martina won 550. Kathy's won a home bar. And Netta won a fantastic holiday to Barbados. Join us next week. You never know what's going to happen on Take Your Pick. Good night. Take it night, Jody. <laughs>